So these are Natty toothbrushes. Uh, it's a gift from a relative who went to Japan on holiday uh, many moons ago now. These have been stuck in the drawer for about two years and I thought I'd just get them out and have a go. It's a standard toothbrush in the fact that it's it doesn't vibrate. Um, so it doesn't move at all. There's the head. Very fine bristles as you can see. Um, medium, I would say medium soft. Uh, it's all plastic, but the main body here has a battery inside. And you can test it by pressing this button here and you'll see the light come on to indicate the battery is still okay. Um, it's a 3 volt battery, I guess it's a coin battery of some description, but it doesn't look to be replaceable. There's no door here or anything. It's uh, that metal's wrapped around. But what it does is it creates a negative ion field um, creates these negative ions that go into the, the brush head. So what you do is, um, ideally with wet fingers as well they say, you um, press this, it's not a button but it's just like a piece of metal here, you, you hold it here and then you brush normally. And what it does is send negative ions uh, effectively into your mouth through, through the, the brush head. And that they say, it's done by a company called KISS, it's supposed to unstick plaque from your teeth. So I think 450 yen was about three pounds, um, possibly a bit less. Um, it's it's three pounds and 19 pence now in 2021. So that gives you an idea of how much that is. So there's the packaging. It's quite uh, colourful, adorned with you know bright icons and plenty of wording. There we go. Kiss you. Uh, ionic brush. So there's the head. Nothing interesting about that. But it's just got a little clip at the bottom. It's hollow. Nothing inside, no metal. Um, the actual shaft goes up inside that head. There we go. Just a metal shaft. Nothing too interesting about that. That's all it is. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was pointing to the uh, instructions. So uh, there's your tooth. This is saliva, and that's plaque. And as you can see, what happens is because the tooth and uh, uh, the plaque both have negative ions, um, they actually get stuck together. So uh, there it is showing there. And even when if you brush, because the saliva apparently has positive ions, it doesn't release the plaque. But going by their lovely picture, as you can see, here's the toothbrush head, and this sends in negative ions and because of the way it works so they say the uh, saliva is charged well it's not charged is it but uh, it's got positive ions so the negative plaque the negative ions on the plaque is attracted to the saliva rather than the tooth um, and the, the the saliva then captures the plaque and then you can draw it away by brushing and spit so that's how it's supposed to work so negative ions come in and uh, it will basically help you remove plaque and um, yeah, just basically brush away. Now, because it doesn't move or make any sound or anything, it's difficult to know if it's working or not, but I can definitely feel it creates a lot of saliva. Sounds a bit disgusting, but it really does generate saliva in your mouth. And uh, it does really clean. I don't know if it's because of the shape of the brush or anything, but it really does feel very clean almost as if you've been to a hygienist appointment. So in between the teeth, you can really really feel the gaps. But apparently you don't need toothpaste. Um, you can do if you want to, but you're supposed to you know, un, uh, snap off the head just to keep it nice and clean because you don't want to get toothpaste in here. Um, you know, being a, a channel, as you can see there, you don't want that filling up with gunk. But it, yeah, it does, it does do something. It does do something. So, what else we got on here? There we go, there's how to remove the heads, just unsnap. Um, you can either push it on or take it off. Um, uh, that's showing you how to hold it here and making sure your thumb is pressing on the metal pad. This is not a button, it's just a contact pad. And then this is the indicator to say, press the button. And if your battery's okay, it will illuminate, which it still does. Now, like I say, these have been in the drawer for two, maybe three years or more, and it still seems to work fine, but of course they haven't been used. So 
um, it's fine. So yeah, it's quite nice to keep clean. It seems to do a very good job at cleaning somehow. Um, maybe that negative ion thing works, but it's quite natty. This is the other one unopened. Does it work? Yeah, that's fine. And as you can see, our relative brought back some extra heads. Um, oh, we've got small ones here as well. There we go. So I think you've just got the standard size and the, the small size. Very colourful. And there's a little warning inside. I've translated this and it just says that make sure you keep it clean, give it a good rinse, store it upright. And the bottom section means, as you can see there, when it's worn, replace the head. So fairly obvious. So obviously don't let your brush get to that stage where it's folding backwards away. The brush itself with its 3 volt battery is supposed to create 10 to 50 microamps as well. Interesting review. I'm not going to show you my teeth because they're not really show teeth. Um, and it's difficult to explain anyway because it's more of a feeling, the cleaning effect, rather than uh, you know showing anything. And uh, at the moment I would say pretty cool. Anyway, quick vid. Just thought I'd show you. Cheers.